we understand that sometimes after welding school, it can be pretty scary to take that weld test. So today, we're gonna ask some people here at KWI what they do before a weld test. Let's get it. All right, guys, I'm here with instructor Garrett, KWI current student. Greg Morales. Mason Likens. What are some of the things that you do before you take a weld test? We know that everybody's different, so what do you do? Some things I like to do is, so like last night I took my stick out monster and I did two practice runs. So I did two roots and filled and capped it. And then that got me ready to take the test a couple minutes later, so. Uh, the more experience you have, the more time you spend under the hood, you'll get to a point that it's just another well test. You just go take it. But if you're a young green welder, first starting out, one of the best things to do, everybody thinks you know you gotta run a whole coupon out, but honestly, just pad. Pad well, just run them beads over and over, getting that smoothness out, uh, just building that confidence up, getting them beads down. But, it seems like any more just, you know, with the more experience you got, you know, somebody calls like, hey, we need to go take a well test, we need to hear tomorrow. It's like, okay, well, then you don't really have time to practice. Right. You know, you just have that confidence built up and you just go weld and make another weld like anything else. If you're first starting out, I would definitely just do a lot of pads. Pad. Run that stick rod, different things like yeah. that. All right, Mason, the question is, what do you do to prepare for a weld test? We know that everybody's different, so what do you do that might help somebody else out. Um, I usually just think of like what, I, what my main struggles are and I usually try to practice up more on those. So usually like on stick, I try to practice my restarts and my startups, try not to have undercut. Okay, so that's a good piece of advice. You don't wanna practice the whole entire weld, just practice what you need work on. Do your nerves get to you or do you get any kind of like, do you get the shakes or? I mean, sometimes I'll get a little shaky, especially when it comes to like stick welding. Okay. Especially my startups, cause uh, too prosy sometimes. There is some nerves there, but you just gotta take it, so there's really nothing else you can do but just practice as much as you can, and then once you're ready, you just take it. One of the biggest things that I found out with taking a weld test is like not thinking about it too much. Right. If you think about it like it's a test, then you start wigging out, because I've right. noticed that sometimes I'll be like starting to take a weld test, and I'll think about it being a test, and then I'll right. start freaking out. So again, I like what you said, is just practice beforehand, and then don't think too much about it. Yeah. Just think of it as you're practicing for another, just another like practice, I guess. Tell us about your first weld test. Uh, it was the one inch flux core. And Here. It, yeah. Okay. And I mean, it was, my first one was terrible. All wavy, I was nervous, couldn't really keep it straight. It was, it was rough. More than likely, nine times out of 10, everybody's first weld test is gonna be pretty bad. So it's usually pretty rough. A lot of little mistakes you can make. Right, so if, if you're watching this, don't worry about your first weld test because everybody's nervous their first weld test, but also a couple things that have been said here today might help you for the next couple of weld tests after your first. Whether it's your first weld test or your last weld test, these are some of the things that individuals do to make money for their family, their friends, or to provide for their life. Hopefully this is gonna help you out whenever you go take that weld test for your first weld test. And remember, don't think about it too much, it's just a weld test. And if you do get nervous, calm down, take a break, and get back at it. But also, practice a little bit, run some pads, run some beads, and don't overthink the weld test.